When was the last time you tried to remember anything or solve a problem without Googling it first? Right? It's a simple question, but the answers, I think, are quite illuminating. See, increasingly nowadays, we're living our lives with our brains in our pockets. And that's the idea I'd like to explore with you today. Our tech is wonderful in that it makes life easier and more efficient, but it is quietly stripping us of some essential human qualities, like our ability to remember, our capacity to think critically about things, and even our capacity for compassion for one another. And the worst part, we don't even realize it's happening. Now, this isn't a story about quitting technology or throwing everything away that you own. Maybe a story about taking a few steps to reclaim something you didn't necessarily mean to give up in the first place. Let's start with our ability to remember. Years ago, we used to have to remember dozens of phone numbers. And now we struggle to remember even just one. Why? In 2015, the Kaspersky lab coined the term digital amnesia and found that 90% of its users have the internet as a universal memory aid, with a further 40% forgetting the information they were looking at altogether, purely because they knew where to find it afterwards. This connects towards what's known as the Google effect, essentially meaning if there is an expectancy for information to be in a location, there is no need to encode it deeply for you to be able to remember it. From neuroscience, we learn that memory consolidation is built on retrieval, repetition, and emotional salience. Where those expectancies are in place, those processes can't engage. This even happens when you take pictures of things. In 2014, Linda Henkel at Fairfield University found that users who were taking pictures of objects were less likely to remember details about them when compared to those who just observed the object in reality. It's called the photo taking impairment effect. Essentially in those moments, the camera is acting as your brain, so your brain relaxes. Think of it this way. When was the last time you were at a concert? Did you take videos and pictures while you were there? Yeah. How about your kids play? Did you take videos while you were there too? When was the last time you watched them? Apart from when somebody makes a comment on the post you made about it. I would argue not that many. 